thoughts on Natwinson Gambit? Yeah, I, I I have high thoughts about it. It's like the out of like all the venomous openings in chess, um, it's very high up there, and it's also like even though there's been some YouTube com or content from from Jonathan, it's still pretty pretty unknown. So when you have a, a highly venomous opening, that's also super rare. It's a great combo. Um, but the the issue is you, you need your opponent to kind of cooperate. So I've actually been working a little bit off stream on developing a repertoire around like the Nagminson and there's a bunch of different move orders to get get the position. Ooh, playing an FM. Okay, I'm close. I'll play E4. I'll play my my new kind of repertoire. Hey, it's Nagminson time. What are the odds my opponent has studied this? Probably hasn't. I'm taking time. Uh, that's nice to see. This is my first. I think I had Nagminson like once before. But I have not had this position. Okay, takes. Ah, oh, queen d5. <laughs> so most of what I know in this opening comes from Jonathan Trance. Um, I can suggest following on YouTube. And, uh, like, objectively, I think this position is close to equal. But it's way more fun to play for white. There's some crazy line, like, bishop here takes h6 and then just takes. Yeah, 97, I think, is the best move. I believe rook takes e4. I, I have a whole chess base file, like, digging into some of these lines. I vaguely remember this, this, and then this. And the great thing... Oh, I, I remember queen d6, too. Pretty sure queen d6 here. If they play c6. The great thing about this opening is, especially if you're well prepared, like black has to consume so much time to not get mated. Oh, okay, now I have to consume time. Probably just bishop g5. Hey Eric, good to see you live again. Oh, it's great to live, yeah. Nice time to be alive. I'll play bishop g5. I had these moves to calculate, but I didn't see what to do after king g8. I was looking at knight f5, queen f4. Looks very nice, because the knight and queen would be hanging, and knight would be pinned. Mm. Yeah, h6 is probably a good move. And now, now knight e5. It looks so much fun, but where's the mate? Oh, there's a cool idea. There's a really cool idea. Wow. That's a cool idea. Knight e5, king g8, knight c6. I don't know if it works, but it looks really cool. Knight c6. <laughs> Double pin. Anything better? You see a cool move, look for a cooler move. No, knight c6. It's so cool. So this this and this are pinned to the queen. If this and I, I take the knight, I'm still down a piece, but black's underdeveloped. Black has everything on the, the back rank, except this knight, which is attacked four times and pinned. b6. Oh, I'll, I'll give a take back. That was a clear mouse slip. <laughs> b6 is a bit too deep for anyone's understanding. I could also just torture black. Oh, but my bishop's attacked. Okay. I'll take... So the main issue is black might make a queen, but I might mate. It's such a fun opening. Wow. Queen f8, I have rook e8. 
And there's no b1 because I take with check and then win the queen. In the meantime, oh, that's a move. I was thinking like queen g6. I also have rook d7 here. I'll play rook d7. I might just start eating pawns. Always have to be aware of this like pawn promotion shenanigans. Like queen e8's a move even. Well, queen f6 is a good move too. Oh, what to do? <laughs> it's not so simple anymore. And queen c5. Oh, I could take. Eh. My time too. Okay, have to play quicker. I don't want to lose like my first real Natwins and Gambit. Rook f8 is expected. F3. Always play f3. Check. Ooh, c3 is coming. Or that move. Okay, so I, I have c3 myself. There we go. Oh, good move. But I still have comp. Let's go. Kind of. King f2. King power. Good move. No! Oh, that was a really bad pre-move. Ah. Ah, I lost. <laughs> hey, it's a raid. It's Jennifer Yu, raiding with 117. Ah. I'm so sorry to all the people who had so much high hopes for me. That's still going on YouTube. That was a fun opening. I have to learn... I have to learn from my mistakes and then become stronger. Also, let's give a shout out to Jennifer Yu. Thanks so much for raiding. If you're just joining, you missed one of the coolest openings known to man. Uh, did I spell that right? I think I spelled it right. Thanks, Jennifer. Um, yeah. This, this opening, it's gonna... It's like... How to describe it? It's like Bitcoin in 2011 or 2010. There's going to be a huge boom and then people are going to learn why it's why it's maybe refuted. <laughs> um, but actually like I, I was trying to refute it with the engine and it, it's it's not so easy to refute. So um, I, I'm sure, like, in, in, especially in this position, I, I'm sure I had something. Analysis board. First of all, opening book. Oh, this has happened in one game. Let's see what happened in that game. So bishop g5, h6. Ah, oh, bishop h4, so calm. And g5 looks kind of annoying. Let's check the Lee chest database. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted whether just to turn on Stockfish. I think I will and see, see if it spits out like an easy win. It doesn't. Oh, oh, it's confused. I might need a, a stronger version of Stockfish. Wait, let's go back. So after C6, oh, maybe. So I had mentioned... I had mentioned during the game that I, I had some idea of, of queen h5 and e5. Maybe this was a line. Queen d6 looks so attractive, though, combined with bishop g5. Okay, I'm going to check my file. Um, it's the best way to do this. White prep. And then... Yeah, I guess I can show this. So this is my like white repertoire in chess base. 
Uh, Nagman's and Gambit is here. Oops. I've done like some brief. Mm, what's the best way to do this? I'm just gonna make this window smaller. Okay, hopefully that's decent looking. So, um, yeah, like the, the main line here is what most people walk into. 97 is very playable. Yeah, so this is my prep. So queen h5, g6, queen e5. Oh, and then queen d6. So I got my lines mixed up. Where queen d6 happens only in this position. And white's supposed to be better, apparently. This is high-powered stockfish. It's still a, a very confusing position. So it wants to play g5, bishop g5. This is all main line. Wow. Knight e5, king g8. This is incredible. Yeah, this actually takes a lot more, like, further analysis. Um, I might share this at some point. I'm still working on it, though. Um, I, I work in chess base, because I'll, I'll occasionally use, like, Lila chess, too. Um, but at some point, I might... might turn this into a chess study. Um, anyway, it's a cool opening. Even even when black like plays it correctly, uh, there's so much joy which can be had from this opening. So if this goes on YouTube, YouTube people, hope you guys enjoyed that. G Cook, gifting subs. Thanks, G Cook. YouTube people, say hi to G Cook and everyone else in the Twitch chat. And I'll see you in the future.